The Welsh Springer Spaniel is a hunting dog of great stamina, distinguished by an attractive red and white coat and an eager and loyal disposition. The Welsh Springer is among the oldest of Spaniel breeds, referred to in Welsh law from very early times and described in literature as early as 1570. Popular in Wales and Western England for hundreds of years, the Welsh Springer Spaniel became one of the most popular of field dogs throughout the British Isles by the 1800s and is still being used today. Although the breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1929, it wasn't until the 1950s that the Welsh Springer became firmly established in the United States as both a gun dog and family companion. You'll see many Welshies during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so, but all will help your understanding of the breed. Now let's begin. First, it should be noted that the Welsh Springer Spaniel derives its name from his hunting style and not from his relationship to other Spaniel breeds. He is of handy size and active disposition and should exhibit substance without coarseness. He is a compact dog, not leggy, but obviously built for hard work and endurance. He should be shown in hard muscled working condition, like this. The standard describes such a dog, and its preservation is equally the responsibility of breeders, both bench and field, as well as the bench judge. In size, the ideal height for dogs is 18 to 19 inches at the withers. Bitches should be 17 to 18 inches. Any animal above or below these measurements should be proportionately penalized. Weight should be in proportion to height and overall balance. The Welsh Springer's body should be slightly longer, measured from the withers to base of tail, than distance from withers to ground. Although the length to height proportion may be equal, body length should never be shorter than the height. The Welsh Springer Spaniel's body should present a rectangular silhouette to the eye, as this one does. 